Hello from Rose's Cafe. It's mid-afternoon on a beautiful summer day here in Southern Oregon, but it's actually the middle of the night in Makati, Philippines, as you can see. So while Rose is sleeping, we're going to surprise her by making her latest recipe, teriyaki pork steak. Okay, so now with the assembled our ingredients, which includes the pork steak, water, butter, cooking oil, sesame seeds, spring onions, a couple cloves of garlic, some ginger root, teriyaki sauce, and brown sugar. Okay, now we need two tablespoons of grated ginger. So the first thing we need to do is cut off about two tablespoons worth of this ginger root, peel it and grate it. Okay, there we go. That ought to do it. Okay, the ginger's ready. Now we're going to make some chopped garlic here with a couple of cloves of garlic. If you smash the garlic clove with the broad side of your knife, it makes it really easy to peel. You can also use a garlic press for this, and I like them a lot, but I break them all the time. So I got tired of buying new ones every time I broke one, so I just do this. I introduced a garlic press to our maid in the Philippines, and she got so frustrated with it, she just went back to the knife. She said this was much easier. So to each, to each their own. Now we're going to add our two tablespoons of brown sugar. Mm, I like lots of brown sugar. There's two tablespoons of brown sugar, five tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, and our chopped garlic and ground or grated ginger is also going in this mixture. And give it a good mix. Now, this is a marinade solution that we just made here in the bowl, so we're going to put our meat, our steaks, in it to marinate. Let's make sure that they get all well coated. So that you have something that looks like that. Now if you have a Ziploc freezer bag, this works real well. If you don't, just a, a bowl or a container that's covered. And you want to put this in the refrigerator. And let this sit for about 15 minutes. And now while we're waiting, 
before our 15 minutes, this is a good time to get our garnish ready, which we'll use after we cook it, actually. These are spring onions, just slice them up thinly. The recipe calls for half a cup. You can have as many or as few or none if you want, whatever you like. So just get you two or three or four of them like this and slice them up. They always make everything look really cool and classy when you put it on top of them and they taste good. Okay, looks like those three onions I picked out makes about half a cup. And I'm going to add right in there the two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Also, along about now is a good time to crank up your rice cooker so you'll have some nice hot fluffy rice waiting for your steaks. Why? Uh, you do have a rice cooker, don't you? Now when the time is up and you're about ready to take your steaks out of the refrigerator, you're going to want to add your oil and your butter to the frying pan and melt it, let it get nice and hot. And you want to add your steaks to the pan. Okay, so I put more butter and oil than the recipe calls for. Now the marinade sauce you're going to want to save, so just set it aside. Now at the point where the meat is nice and brown on both sides, you're going to want to add back the rest of the sauce and the half cup of water. It's all well coated in the sauce. And we're going to let that simmer like that until the sauce is nearly dried up. Okay, the rice in the rice cooker is ready. The really beautiful thing about a rice cooker is that you always get perfect rice every time. If you just add the right amount of rice and water. So there's our nice bed of rice for our teriyaki steaks. Alrighty then, the steaks are just about ready, so it's time to transfer them to the rice. So there you have it, Rosa's soon-to-be world-famous teriyaki pork steak. Bon appetit.